If you already have a photo gallery application that you like, then you probably don't need the Samsung Gallery application on your device. But sadly, we are unable to uninstall it without root access. We also cannot disable it because the disable button is grayed out here. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to uninstall the Samsung Gallery application from the default user account on any Samsung Galaxy smartphone or tablet. The steps I show you here today will not require root access, but it will require you to have ADB and Fastboot tools set up. But before we get to that, we have a word from today's sponsor. PlayStoreSales.com is a website that highlights over 100 apps and games that are on sale each and every week. There's currently a big Playdigis sale going on right now. So games like Streets of Rage 4, Dead Cells, and Northguard, and many more are at their lowest price ever. Play Store Sales even has a price history graph for each app and game on the website. This way, you'll know what the normal price is, how the current sale price compares to past sales, and how often it goes on sale. So be sure to visit www.playstoresales.com and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. So back to today's focus, removing the Samsung Gallery application from your device. I know there are going to be some people who choose to use a debloater toolkit to do this. And of course you are more than welcome to try. But unless you've been following the development of that toolkit, you won't know for sure if it has been updated to work with your device. With the method that I show you here today, if it doesn't work, then you'll know why. And you know that you will not lose any of your important data for executing the wrong command. So as mentioned, this process will require you to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC, or you could go with the LADB option and perform everything directly on the device. I do have a video showing how to set up LADB if you want to do everything wirelessly, and that will be linked in the video description below. I also have a guide showing how to install ADB tools on your PC, which is how I will be doing things today. You will also need to have developer mode enabled so that you can toggle the USB debugging mode feature on, all of which will be linked in the video description below if you aren't familiar with how to set things up. When you're all ready to go though, we can connect our phone to the PC with a USB cable and then launch a command prompt, Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window from the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So from this command prompt, I'm going to execute the command ADB space devices. And we do that to make sure that there's an established connection between our PC and the Android device. So you're going to want to look for a device response that shows your phone's serial number. If you do not see that here, then you may need to look at your device in either grant USB debugging mode authorization, or you may need to enable USB debugging mode and then execute that ADB devices command again. Next, we're gonna drop into an ADB shell so that our commands are now being executed directly on the device, which is the code name for our device here, rather than the commands being executed directly on our PC. And then we're gonna type out this command. And I'll have all of these commands in the video description below, just in case you want to copy and paste them. So here, we're telling the package manager of this device to uninstall the application with the package name 
com.sec.android.gallery3d. And we're telling it to uninstall from the user zero, which is the default user account. And we're telling it dash K. So we're telling it to keep our data just in case you decide to reinstall this at a future date. So with all of this typed out, we're going to press enter. And if everything goes smoothly, then you're going to see this success message as a response. Now, if all you want to do is remove the main Samsung Gallery application and its icon from the home screen, then you're done. This is all you need to do. If you look at your phone now, you'll notice the Samsung Gallery application icon is nowhere to be found and everything is done. However, there are actually a few additional services related to the Samsung Gallery application that we can remove. So again, we're going to tell the package manager to uninstall, and this time we're going to uninstall this application package. We're gonna press enter and make sure that we get another success message. And lastly, the third and final PM uninstall command is for this application package. We press enter, and again, we just want to make sure that we get a success message from executing that command. These are the three apps that I've found to be related to the Samsung Gallery application, and removing all of them, like I showed you here today, will delete their app icon. You can see it's no longer on the home screen and prevent the services from running in the background. So as always, if you have run into any issues with today's guide, then let me know in the comment section below. And I hope you all have a great day.